is Jesse Walker. All right, we continue the review of the winter outlook. This thing I said, this is going back and looking at my analog years, I thought the warmest month compared to average would be December. If you remember, December was really warm. As a matter of fact, record high temperature on uh, Christmas Eve. It was 58 on Christmas Day, and I thought, boy, probably got that one right. And then February showed up, so I missed this one. December was 7.6 degrees above normal. January was basically normal. Remember, we had a lot of cold weather in January. But February was 9.4 degrees above normal. So even after we had a really warm December, February beat it. So there's my record at the bottom. We'll continue the review again tomorrow night. Around the area today, it was today was another cooler than normal day, even though it did warm up. We started quite cold and frosty. We ought to be at 37. We were at 29. So we were 8 degrees cooler than normal during the morning. We were five degrees above normal during the day, but that makes it still a cooler than normal day, but still at 59 felt pretty good after we started at 29 degrees. No rainfall across the area today. We're at 1.76 inches, exactly half of where we should be for the month. We will add some to that before the month is over, and then we'll start out April with some showers and storms as well. The Wabash River in Terre Haute, about six and a half feet and not really going anywhere, kind of holding stationary right now as far as going up or down. Here's what we're looking at then. Not as cold tonight as last night, about 10 degrees warmer actually it'll be even warmer tomorrow than it was today there are a few rain chances anytime from tomorrow night into the first part of sunday but i think the better rain chances will come late sunday into late monday and that's the stormy start to next week that we'll be talking about especially focused around on that monday time period at the airport in Terre Haute right now, we have 60 degrees. The pressure's falling again at 30.06, and those winds still kind of breezy out of the west-southwest. Temperatures right now near 60, upper 50s to near 60 all across the area. So pretty nice evening going out there. On our water vapor satellite, this is drier air that's in place here. But notice to the west of here, a lot of moisture. This is kind of our disorganized storm system out here. That's the one that we'll be tracking as we head for the weekend and into the first part of next week. So that's still a couple days away. In the meantime, there's a little front just north of the area kind of stalled out and right along the front we've seen a few scattered showers developing again mostly just north of this area on the dorsal automotive doppler radar not anything at all here but way up here a couple of light showers and those will be drifting to the southeast overnight so can't rule out maybe a spotty light shower or a couple sprinkles in some of the northern areas overnight i don't think that would be big at all tomorrow then looks like a good day even warmer than today now tomorrow night late, maybe a couple scattered showers or maybe even a thunderstorm. Again, I think it's mostly far to the north. And then as we get into the day Saturday, I really think a lot of Saturday we're going to be in pretty good shape. Maybe an isolated shower or storm early, but I think a lot of Saturday looks pretty good. Watch the wind coming in from the west right now. As we get into the day for tomorrow, those winds will be more from the southwest, and that will help to warm things up. As we get into the day Saturday, the winds start to change over as the front moves into the area, and that's going to spark the better chances of rain. So here's what we're looking at as we head for the weekend. Sunday, mostly later in the day, I think. Then as we get into Monday, mostly later in the day into Monday night. That's when we got to watch. Could be some stronger storms, especially late Monday into Monday night. So the forecast for tonight then goes like this. Temperatures will not be as cold as we had last night. We'll be looking for about 40 with partly cloudy skies. During the day tomorrow, a really good day. Temperatures warm up even more. Daytime high tomorrow hits around 70 to 71. And after that, as we head for the weekend, could be a couple scattered showers or storms Saturday, but the chances are better later on Sunday. But look at the temperatures in the mid 70s. Good chance of storms Monday. We got to keep an eye on Monday because look at that much colder weather moves in by the middle of next week. That's your forecast. Sports coming up after the break.